The Honduran economy is mainly relay on financial returns from agricultural exports. There are many vital components and factors that the Honduran economy contains. These factors enabled it to reach the stage of sustainable growth, which led to the great industrial development. In this video, we will show you the future projects in Honduras. Before you start, don't forget to share the video and subscribe the channel. Tegucigalpa Cable Car Cabe delivered the feasibility studies for a cable car system that would connect capital Tegucigalpa with the adjacent city of Comayag, known as Cable Aereo. The use $856,930 document included technical, economic and social proposals for constructing the cable car system and will be used for tendering at a later date. Details of the tender launch are not currently available. The project could complement Tegus Cable, a US $79.80 MN cable car system that involves four lines across 10 kilometers of northern Tegucigalpa. However, it has been stuck in the feasibility stage since at least 2018, with little news about whether the project is going to meet its launch goal of 2023. The fact that a feasibility study for Cable Aereo has been delivered before that for Tegus Cable suggests that the project has a better chance of moving forward. Build six dams. Cabe is currently analyzing the proposals it received on October 27 to award a contract to carry out. The final design and feasibility studies for the construction of six dams. Although the bank has speeded up the planning process to construct the dams, it has not disclosed a specific date for picking the consulting firm that will do the studies in the next 12 months. The launching of the tender in September follows the approval of US $5.80 MN in non-refundable technical cooperation approved by the bank. New Trauma Hospital in Capital Tegucigalpa the investment in the will be US $53.80 a men, which includes contracting the design and supervision of the infrastructure works, construction and equipping of the hospital, which will be a four-floor building with a built area of 22 M2 with capacity for 150 beds. The remaining projects include the construction of three women's centers and the modernization of 11 operating theaters at the Escuela Universitario Hospital. As regards productive infrastructure, the agency only said that the investments to be made would benefit 48,000 families nationwide. The Invest Honduras money will come from a mix of federal and international funds. Renovation of Les Siba Kaputagi Port It had closed a deal with of South Korea to grant you $100,000 non-refundable technical cooperation to carry out a 12-month study that would serve as the main plan for modernizing the Les Siba Cabotage Port on the Caribbean coast. The study will analyze the demand the project would generate, taking into consideration transport, real estate and tourism projects. Coyolito Amapala Road Bridge The construction of a road bridge to connect the Coyolito community with Isla del Tiger Island, also known as Amapala, in the Gulf of Fonseca on the Pacific coast where a new port is planned. Both the 2 kilometers bridge and the new port are part of the Tri-National Master Plan for the Development of the Gulf which includes investment projects and strategic guidelines to promote economic development in the Pacific region. According to the bank, the project will now move to the pre-investment stage, including the process of carrying out a public consultation. It will then move to the studies and design stages, also requiring the basic engineering for the first stage of the new Amapala port. The Honduran government will have 20 years to pay back the loan and a five-year grace period and an indicative annual interest rate of 2.56%. In your opinion, which of these projects is the best in Honduras? Are there projects we did not mention? Write your suggestions in the comments so we can talk about them in the next video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe the channel.